guys it's a new year i know i dropped a video for the new year but i haven't been back in a minute and i know y'all been waiting on me so guess what i got for y'all i got a valentine's day makeup video for you guys as promised i did a poll on my instagram and my facebook page and i asked everyone if y'all wanted me to do a valentine's day makeup or if y'all wanted me to do a fall look so i'm gonna go ahead and get into this video i kind of have the look i want to go for i'm not sure i'm not a makeup artist disclaimer don't think that it's gonna come out perfect or i just know what i'm doing because i don't i just know how to put it together like subscribe share comment and turn on that post notification my face is already moisturized also i did my hair i did some passion twists i did the short version last time i did this my mine was a little shorter but i did it like a little longer this time and i actually like this length i like how it came out it's really cute if y'all want me to do a video on this on how to do the passion twist make sure y'all comment down below and it did not take me long at all so the first thing we're going to start off with is the primer here it is so we got our la colors primer now my stuff is not what you call it the best stuff but it really does its job, so hey. <laughs> yeah, so I'm using this primer. It's good to use primer for your face because you don't want the foundation and all the makeup that you put on your face to really get into your pores. It helps smooth skin, extends makeup wear. Boom. Now we need our liquid illuminator. Now, this is my first time really getting to use this because every other time I always forget or I mess up. And I don't like to put it on over my makeup. I like to put it under my makeup. So we're going to continuously rub that liquid illuminator into my face all around so that I can have that glowy skin for my undertone of my makeup. Now, if y'all see me looking to the side or this side or any side, that's because I'm looking at my mirrors so that I can get a better look. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows first. I don't know if I want to do this on camera because that eyebrows take a while and eyebrows is the look baby it completes it but um i'm just saying i don't want this video to be crazy long now i'm gonna go ahead and put one of my eyebrows on and then i'll decide whether if i want to show you the next eyebrow but if i don't you know what decision it came to so y'all stay tuned i could have done my eyebrows way more neat than this i got the concealer it cleans it all up watch this Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to this eye. As I did on the other side, I'm just showing y'all how I clean up my eyebrows, use that concealer, and you really just go by the eyebrow line and trace how your eyebrows should look and how you want it. Yeah, I'm trying to give y'all this giveaway, okay? If y'all please share my video, like, it would be amazing so that I can get more subscribers, you know? Alright, just continuing the process of finishing this eyebrow, cleaning up the rest that I have to clean up. And I did not show y'all the concealer I was actually using. It is LA Colors as well. So the eyebrows are done. We're gonna be getting into the eyeshadow, okay? Because I do not want anything dropping on my uh, foundation. You always wanna do your eyeshadow first. I'm gonna show y'all how this is gonna go down, okay? So let me go ahead and get my colors together. Let me figure out what pieces I'm putting together and I'll be back. back i don't know where i'm going with this <laughs> shocking um um i'm trying to figure out what colors to use you guys because i really don't have a red and i wanted to use a red and the only red that i have is a red lipstick what i do know what we're gonna do is get my concealer again and what we're gonna do is we're gonna base the eye with concealer Let's get into that. I'm gonna spray myself with some, it's basically a makeup setter. I don't know why I can't think of the word right now. It's crazy, because I know when I watch the video or edit it, I'm gonna know. So I'm probably gonna put it up there in the corner to let y'all know. Whew. Okay, Whew. that was enough of that. Now I'm just putting my concealer on my eyelids as a base so that I can put on my eyeshadow. Now for the next side, I'm going to continue to do that, use it as a base. 
Um, I'm gonna go ahead and choose my colors that I wanna put on my eyelids. Actually, let me try this red out and I might use that like as a base. So I'm gonna use this brush and I'm gonna go ahead and use a brownish color. I am using this brown base so that when I'm using my other colors, it would transition well. As promised, I am doing my makeup video for you guys that I requested. And I will be doing my TikTok videos still. So my compilation that I had promised y'all as well. It's just I haven't had the time. All right, so I got my base on. Now I'm gonna use this red lipstick and I'm gonna just put it right here like so. Also use that as a base. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit and then I'm gonna um, brush it. So I'm rubbing in that red lipstick on my eyes so that I can get that reddish tint. Also, I'm gonna use that concealer to clean up whatever is on that part of the eye so that I can use that as a base for my eyeshadow. All right, so we got that color on. It looks crazy. I don't care. It's gonna come out good. We're gonna get this purple color. I know it's lipstick, guys, but I'm trying to get this color to come out the way I wanted it to come out. Cause this red didn't really come and serve its purpose the way I needed it to. So we're gonna put this purple and then another purple over it. I know, a lot of lipstick. Okay. It's getting there y'all, it's getting there, it's getting there. And put that in like so. All right, so. Still looking crazy, but it's okay. We getting somewhere. So right over here in this corner of the eye, I'm gonna put a very light pinkish color. So that color that I made as my base, the purplish reddish color, I'm using this pinkish color so that it can make that color pop more. So I'm getting like a pinkish color. Y'all see this color right here on my brush. And I'm gonna put that around here in this corner as you can see i made like a hot pinkish color it's a little off from both of the colors that's on my eyes but it makes it pop all right you guys so i got some white glitter here i am going to use this uh, clear adhesive strip glue put some right here on my eyelids using this clear adhesive glue i'm going to be applying my glitter onto my eyes so that it can stay Make sure you pat that glitter onto your eye and keep your eye closed so that no glitter can get into your eye and continue that process. All right. So y'all might not be able to see all the glitter as of right now. Let me just add like probably a little more of a pink pop to the corner again. Just adding a little more of that hot pink so that it can stand out. Continuing that process on the same side. Now, boom. So let me show y'all what I use. I use this white glitter that has like neon green. And my fingers are dirty because of my makeup, so don't judge me. Um, this is a white color, but it has like neon green sparkles, as y'all can see. I think that's good for the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up around my eyes. Take my concealer, go and cut crease the side of my eyeshadow. Let me put this, my hair back. I go ahead and cut crease it. Go ahead and cut crease. I am using the cut crease method, so I'm using a sponge to pat in the rest of that concealer. So next we're gonna go ahead and put on our foundation. I have my Fit Me makeup, and my color is 355 Coconut Cocoa. That's my color. I use my sponge, put it around my face. Making sure that my makeup isn't blotchy, I'm gonna use that sponge to pat in the rest of my foundation. So my foundation is on. I'm gonna go ahead and start my contour and conceal. Now that we're contouring and concealing, we're going to take that concealer and start with our nose to our forehead, under our eyes on both sides, and also you want to get that chin area. Now you want to take that contour and use it by your cheekbone area and also the sides of your nose. Now ladies, get prepared for the next step. So I'm going to go ahead and get my sponge. So I'll be using my green sponge to pack in my contour and my concealer 
we're going to be doing it under our eyes our nose by our chin and the forehead area i'm gonna put the um setting powder under my eyes and i'm gonna go ahead and brush this in so i'm just taking that setting powder and i'm placing that under my eyes with my brush so what i do is i put the setting powder under my eyes and then i put it in the corners here closer to my nose you know, I really don't want to call this a tutorial because of the fact that I'm not professional. I just want to show y'all how I would do a Valentine's makeup look. I'm going to use this brush to brush in the contour. You want to always brush back. The brushing forward will make it look messy and you don't want that. Now I'm going to go ahead and brush off all this setting powder so i'm using that brush to take off any excess setting powder because i do not i repeat i do not want to look like a raccoon i'm gonna put some of this um powder on me Pause it under my eye and then i'm gonna put some of this um powder on me so it won't be too light okay yes that's doing its job I need my bronzer. Where did I put my bronzer at? Okay, that helped out a lot, actually. Maybe I'll do a video on me applying my eyelashes. I know it takes some time, ladies, but just take your time and do what you can do. Lashes on. Next one on. For the next side, take your time as well. Make sure that the eyelash glue does not get onto your eyeshadow and place it how you want it. So my lashes are on. Go ahead and use this hot pink uh, lip liner. So depending on the lips and the type of look that you're going for, you can align your lip on your lip line or over. So put my highlight on. For me, I have certain spots where I put my highlighter. You can place it wherever you would prefer. So got a highlight on looks great and now we're gonna go ahead and spray our setting spray all right you guys so this is the finishing look so i'm open to any feedback on this valentine's day makeup that i created i hope you guys enjoyed it this is the end of the video basically this is how my valentine's day look came out i was thinking of something different but i'm kind of happy how this came out make sure y'all stay tuned make sure y'all like subscribe comment and turn that post notification i hope y'all enjoyed this video i love my makeup look comment down below how y'all think about the makeup look and how it suits me i love you guys your girl nari is out